Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Thanks for watching again. Uh, today we're going to be talking about baseline entries. It's quite an important part of the game, so I think it's good to think about what you can do in each situation. We're going to be talking about baseline entries over the left and over the right. So let's go. So, if we start off on the right side, entering the baseline on the right side, for example, you get a pass and you come in over the back line, what are your options? There are a few options. One is to try and dribble yourself. Two is to find someone who is free to pass the ball. And another option could be is to try and find a foot to get a penalty corner. Those are pretty much your options. So, when you're coming over the, uh, over the right side on your forehand, it's important to make sure as soon as you can, you try and create space by coming off the back line as much as you can. Because from here, you can still go around and over the backhand of the defender. If you stay too close to the back line, the only option you have is to go that way or that way. So try and keep your options open. If you're trying to look for a pass, try and make contact with your, uh, with your teammate. And if the person is free, you can pass the ball. If you want to keep it yourself, one thing that can help uh, if going over the back line when someone's trying to make a tackle is if you go over the back line to try and lift the ball once you get to the back line because you can expect the tackle so if you come over the back line here you can lift and then from here you can try and score yourself or you can pass again so another thing you can do when you enter the back line, if you don't see an option, there's always an option to, to, to slow down and to step back and let the defender try and grab the ball and it puts you in control of the situation. So for example, if you're running but you don't see an option, there's nothing wrong with stepping back and letting the defender try and grab the ball. From there, you can try to eliminate him or you can look for a pass or get a penalty corner. Another tip I can give um, when you're entering the back line is to look what the defender does. If the defender defends you and at a certain point they're going to put their backhand down, you have the option to cut inside because the feet are exposed and you can get off the back line. So when you're running down the baseline and all of a sudden you see he puts his backhand down to block the pass, you can cut inside this way and it gives you way more options to shoot or to continue your run. So we just had the right side and the left side is actually completely different. Why? Because you're facing mainly forehands and also because your options are different. There are certain ways that you can enter the baseline. Um, one of the mistakes that are being made quite often is that people tend to have their head down and they run over the baseline with their backhand, which makes it first of all very hard to see what's going on in front of the goal. And second of all, it's very hard to score from there or to see what's going on and what your defender is doing. So my advice would be is that if you are in a position where you have the ball here, sometimes you can step back and create vision for yourself. I think it's really important when you enter the baseline on the left side is that you know what's going on in front of the goal. Because if your teammate is free, you want to be able to pass the ball as soon as possible. So vision is everything when it comes to entering over the left side. So if you enter from the left side, my advice would always be is to try as soon as you can to turn around with your feet to get in a position where from here you have full control of what you want to do. From here you can pass across the face if there's someone free. Here you can also choose to fake the defender and come back onto the field, give yourself a bit more space to work with. If he gives you space on the back line, then I think you can wait for the tackle. I think it's important to try and use your 3D skills to bring the ball in the air because otherwise it's a simple tackle and the ball goes over the back line.
So as you can see, there are many different ways to enter the back line and to find solutions. Uh, I think the most important thing is to always make sure that you have a plan of what you're doing. So uh, try and look for a teammate, try and pass to someone in front of the goal. If that's not on, try and do something else, but try and really think about and look what the defender is doing. And based on that, try and uh, decide what move you're going to do. But practice them all, make sure you uh, know how to do them, and then uh, I think they can be very useful in the game. So good luck. I hope you liked that video. If you did, hit the like button. And uh, if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting this button. And um, otherwise, if you have any comments, leave them down below and um, I'll try and get back to you. See ya.